But yo, what up, people? Matthew D. Even the Black, where we help you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your relationship coach. So today's video is, how to, is, is based off of a, it's how to deal with a uh, negative mother. I'm saying it apply for those who are dealing with a negative father, but I'll make this, make this one specifically, specifically those who have negative moms, uh, because dealing with parents, if you want to be, do it based on gender, you can deal with them a little bit differently when it's you. Know, you you can do it. You can do it differently when when it's your mother or when it's your father. Men and women work differently. But so I got inspired to do this um, based on an article, which I'll put in the, in the comments in the description below from Core.com. Um, a person, a son, had written about how his mom is this very negative, and unfortunately, was living with her, and he had um, tried to basically. So he's trying to like, if I remember, he tried to like live with her, not not live with her, and try to work with her, and he loves her very dearly, and I do believe she treated him uh, pretty well. It's just that when it came to the people and everything else, always something negative to say, had had not forgiven her past, all this stuff, and he was wondering what to do, like how do I deal with this? How do I overcome this? You know, and the truth of the matter is, if you're watching this and you have a mother that's very negative, you know. Or a parent. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that it's at a hard time accepting growing up, even into my twenties and thirties. And it's something that I kept trying to do. Was it was it was subconscious. It, it's a pattern that I got into with my mother. Um, it's a very hard pattern to break. And the thing is, you have to accept the fact that there's not a goddamn thing you can do with your negative mom. Nothing. I'm sorry, let me go back. There isn't anything you can do to help them or change them. You can make suggestions, you can try to make life easier. There, There is nothing in the world that will get them to change. You cannot get them to change. You may know that, and here's a trick, or the trick or the thing, you may know that, but subconsciously you will still try and do stuff with the intent of hoping that they'll change. Because if, especially if you care, it's really shitty to sit there and watch your mother go and, and become this, this train wreck that you're watching. You're going, oh my God, this doesn't change, it's gonna crash. And it sucks, you can't do anything. You can give suggestions, you can give love, hugs, all this shit, and then they keep going on, the, on this track and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, your life is like shit, like, hello? But that's the thing, like, and, and you will subconsciously still try and help, even though consciously you know you can't change it. That's very difficult to do. So you have to become aware of the pattern you have. And I'm telling you, become to, to become aware of this pattern, you're going to need to take some time, get a pen, a pencil, and some paper, and think of, it's gonna take time, it may take a couple days, and sit there and think about what's the pattern that I have with my with my mother that I always get involved with. Because it's it, because at that point, it's become a habit, you won't be aware of it, you know? You, you, Cause you know the saying goes, you know, you can't see the forest through the trees. Well. This is this is what you gotta do. You have to literally break this pattern. So, here's the thing. And also in the article, the boy, um, the son was living with, was living living with his mom, and one person commented and made a great suggestion. They said, "Get out of the house. If you're living with someone like this, if you can move out, move out as soon as possible because their negativity, their their energy is going to affect you, and it's it's going to weigh you down. It's going to affect your health. You need to get away. Okay. And here's where you can still love them, care about them from a distance." And to do with this, it comes down, it simply comes down to this. Accepting two things. One, and this is tough, these are not easy, it's gonna take some time. Accepting one, that you cannot, cannot, cannot change them and they will not, most likely will not change. That's one. Two, loving them who they are. It's simple. But I'm telling you from personal experience, it's difficult to do and it's a bitch. Because you care, you want the best for them, especially if you're fighting when you're like, oh my god, what are you doing? Especially if you, especially if you're around them, it makes you feel like it makes you feel like you're crazy. You have to accept the fact that one, there's another guy that need to do, and most likely it won't change. Number two, you love them who they are. It's not easy. Is it doable? Yes. Easy? No. I'm telling you. That's what you gotta do. The best thing I would suggest is distancing, distancing, distancing yourself. Um, meaning, like, if you live with them, move out. If you can still call them, call them every once in a while, but just check on them. 
But you got to be like, okay, I'm not going to get into this. If they want to bitch about stuff, this is where you have to say, okay, mom, you're complaining. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, you can try. I mean, you may, you can listen. But imagine that they're imagine that they're bitch, that they're bitching and complaining. You're avoiding the words. Like, oh, 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 oh. You can do that, but it depends on how much you can listen to. And you can make some up. You can say, "Hey, look, I love you, I care, but I gotta go." You know, and it's tough because when it's with your parents, this isn't like something that you can just drop. But ah, oh, we broke up. It's like these are your parents. Even after they die, it's still going to affect you after they die, which is nuts. And it's like it's a mind fuck. So right now, what you need to do. If they're still alive, if your mother's still alive, deal with this shit now and get over it. And even when she's gone, you know, um, even if your mother was gone and if it wasn't the best, deal with it now. Deal with the emotional pain. This is what this is what it's all about. You gotta accept the fact that you can't change them, they won't like won't change, and that you gotta love them who they are. That's it. It's that simple. So, hope you like this video, hope it makes sense. Like the video, please like it. And two, let me know your thoughts are. Comment below if you disagree, think you're stupid, think I'm bullshit. Tell me, let me know. And for those of you who want to, um, you know, schedule a consultation with me, hey, the link is below. We'll do a consultation, free consultation. I can coach you on this and coach you in other areas of your life. All right. Hope you enjoy this. Get in the black. Deuces.